Well, hi, guys. It's that time. It's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. You know, yesterday, I just, I went right out there on thin ice because what I was teaching about is a very uncomfortable subject. You know, I can teach about words, uh, but what I need you to do is to get it in your heart, and I need you to believe the Word of God about the words that you speak. Today I want to talk, and I'm going to get really personal, and I don't do this very often. And please, I don't, I don't need, I'm not looking for somebody to feel sorry for me. I want you to understand my past experiences and where I've come from, which, by the way, qualify me to talk to you about your words, okay? If I have lived through this, and I want to make sure that you glean everything you possibly can from what I'm trying to teach you today. Uh, I want to talk to you in this little booklet. It talks about, in one of the chapters, the damage that we do to our children. And the, yes, this is yet another extremely sensitive teaching. And I, and, and I respect that. I, I, I get that. But I want to talk about this because it's on my heart. You know, uh, I didn't plan on really going deep into this words thing, but God's just showing me that I need, I need to put this out here because there's people that need this. When I was a little girl, my life was not perfect, and I'm sure yours wasn't either. But I lived through a whole lot of stuff. By the time I was 16, I was suicidal, and I did... Well, Probably before that. Okay. By the time I was 16, I wanted to do something about not wanting to live. Okay. I did. I, I can remember when I was seven years old not wanting to live. Okay. So so 10 years later, I'm ready to do something about this problem that I have. And I began drinking very heavy, hoping that one day I wouldn't wake up. And unfortunately, I just woke up and weighed more than I wanted to weigh, and, and, and so I didn't get to drink myself to death. But this is what I'm telling you. A lot, of, a lot of what was going on with me was what other people had spoke over me, and all of the meanness and, and abuse and, and arguing and, and just contention. Did you know that James 3.16 says that where there's contention and strife, there's every evil work. And yes, uh, every evil work is uh, abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, violence, er, er, sickness, death, poverty, you know, all of that are those negative things. Anything that you can't see in heaven, but it's here on earth, like sickness, disease, and stuff, that is of Satan. That is the fall of mankind. So today, let me uh, get into scripture real quick, but because I want you to understand that uh, before I read the scripture to you, I just want you to understand the power that our words have over other people. And so here we go. Let me just say this. This is Proverbs uh, twelve eighteen. Careless words stab like a sword. Did you know that when you are, uh, well, I don't want to make this personal, when a person is blowing up and cussing and ranting and raving in their own home, throwing st things at, and all, all of that stuff, guys, that's a sword stabbing in the heart of every person that lives in that household. And I'm only qualified to sit here tonight, or today, I'm sorry, today, and teach you about this because I've lived through it. God's word is true, and your words have power. Your words are the most powerful thing in this universe. <laughs> and I know some of you don't believe me, but I've tested it. I will intentionally go to Walmart and I will walk up to people that I know. I can look at them and tell they're mad, they're angry, they're upset, they're sad, they're whatever. And I will intentionally walk over to that person 
and speak words of life into them. And their whole atmosphere changes. I know that words have power. And I want you to know that your words have power. And I want you to make a decision today to use your words to strengthen people, to make your life better, to make their life better. And when you get the feeling that you want to say something negative, just remember this Bible teacher that has told you to stop it. Oh, Lord, put a guard over my mouth. I'm going to end with this. And I know I'm over the top. It's okay. Uh, you know, I'll walk into the Walmart, and I'll see a sign that says flu shots available. Did you know my first thought isn't, oh, well, I wonder if my insurance will cover that, or, oh, I wonder if I need that. Now, I'll look at that sign, and the first thing out of my mouth is, well, I don't need that because I'm always healthy, and I speak it out loud. <laughs> And look at me. I'm a model of health at 55. So guys, look, I didn't mean to make this teaching about me, but sometimes you have to talk about yourself in certain details because it's sensitive and you have to use yourself as an example. So you forgive me today because it's been more personal than normal, okay? I just don't want to step on anybody's toes because all I'm wanting to do is for you to learn and grow from this. So God bless you, and I'll see you back right here on Facebook. Bye-bye.